Hello you rockers and rollers. Uh, what we're going to do today is uh, retrace some of Keith Moon's footsteps from when he bought his first Ferrari, Ferrari Dino, along with uh, his friend, chauffeur, bodyguard, drinking companion, hotel helper wrecker, <laughs> Peter Dougal Butler. I'm going to take it to Marinello's, which is in Egham. And then from there, we're going to go on a little road trip, which Keith Moon actually took, along with Dougal. One can only imagine the conversation that made him that went on in that car as they drove it back to Tara House. So we're not far, I, don't, I live not too far from where Keith did. So I'm just leaving Bedfont now, and we're going to make our way towards Egham in Surrey. All right. So, as promised, here we are at Marinello's, the Ferrari dealership of Egham. So back in 1973, I think it was, uh, Roger Daltrey, lead singer of the Who, decided that he wanted to buy a Ferrari Dino. So he did. Keith Moon didn't want to be outdone, so he bought one as well. And he bought it from here. Keith Boone brought along Dougal Butler and walked through them very doors there and bought a brand new Ferrari Dino. Okay, Marinello's of Egham. Keith put it to Dougal whether he wanted to go Dutch on a, on a Dino, uh, which he did. So uh, I don't think Dougal was too happy <laughs> when Keith lent the uh, car key to a couple of strangers and practically fucking wrecked it. So once Keith and Dougal had purchased their brand new Ferrari Dino, they drove it out of the showroom there. And this is the actual route they took back to uh, Tara House. So one can only imagine the excitement of uh, Keith Moon being what? 23 years of age when he bought that. Obviously he couldn't drive so Dougal was at the wheel. You can just imagine Keith shouting to him, go faster, go faster as he approaches roundabout. towards Lynn up here to the right is uh, Keith Moon's grounds that he used to own we 
just going to do the right up here and the bottom of his road was a pub called the Golden Grove which is just here you can see the Golden Grove there right and here is the private road Keith Moon lived top of Tara house so he's so there's a the pub there He was always in that pub. <laughs> so this is a private road, not really supposed to be up here, but who gives us stuff? This is where my hero used to live. To the left is a beer garden, where Keith Dougal and the Who spent many a hour. So this is Keith Moon's house, the entrance to his house, which is here. That's it there. Okay, so back in back in the day, he had the um, the metal gates with the treble clef and the musical notes all over it. Famous pictures taken there with him and Mandy in in amongst all the bottles and whatever. The story that goes, or the myth that has it, that he drove a Lincoln Continental into a swimming pool and he drove a Rolls Royce into a swimming pool or into a lake. It's all lies. That didn't happen at all. But what did happen with his lilac Rolls Royce, he decided to take it from his house, along with Dougal. Keith wanted to just drive it down there and they drove to the pub, which is just a couple of hundred yards. As they're driving down there, they're all smashed out of their Swedes. Keith was all over the bloody place and decided, or, or accidentally, I don't know what happened, but it, the uh, Rolls Royce ended up here in the lake there. Can you see that? So he obviously crashed through this part here, crashed through there, and ended up in the lake just there. Where the famous picture of his Rolls Royce and the myth that lives on. That's where the Rolls Royce ended up on his way to the pub there. <laughs> so another one of Keith Moon's sports cars that he bought was AC Cobra 428. Keith decided excuse me, that he wanted to take it for a spin. Dougal weren't too happy about it. Knowing that he shouldn't, he can't drive and if he could drive it's pretty dismal at driving, you know what I mean? He didn't have much experience at all. So, so Dougal was very apprehensive but uh, Keith could be very persuasive, Dougal told me. Uh, I can imagine Keith saying to Dougal, Come on, dear boy! What the fucking hell am I paying you for? Along them lines. So they're driving down this very road where I am now, the A316, going towards Staines. Keith at the wheel, Dougal's in the passenger seat. There's hitting 100 mile an hour along this stretch of road where I am now. There was roadworks up ahead because they was just building the M25 then. Keith then decided for some unknown reason to change gear and he whacked it into first gear. The fucking thing flipped over and the car crashed through the barrier just over there to the left of me. Maybe it's a little bit further down. Somersaulted several times. Ended up on its roof. Now, luckily enough, no one was injured. Just a few minor scrapes. Local cop had come along and said, Ah, Mr. Moon, I thought it was you. And just let him go. <laughs> I mean, can you imagine? 100 mile an hour in his beautiful sports car, and Keith just decides to whack it from fourth gear into first gear. I mean, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Jesus, man. The wheels obviously locked up, smoke everywhere, skidded out of control, somersaulted several times, bashed through a fucking barrier, skidding along on its roof, uh, and then ending up just a few feet away from a reservoir, which was a 60 foot drop after that. I mean, <laughs> he certainly lives up to his name, you know what I mean, Moon Balloon, for fuck's sake. No need for thanks.